Hey guys, Jerry here, and today we'll be buying, reviewing, and comparing this card to the normal version of the Pagani zone, the Synchro. Now, uh, actually, what is the zone over here? And also, why the hell is it British? I thought it was Italian, but I don't think you know. So, anyways, this is uh, one of the most expensive cards in the game so far. And it is available for gold coins. It's in fact, let's just uh, search for it. Uh, sync. Uh, it is uh, 250 grand more expensive than the no normal version. However, you do have to wait 14 days uh, for it to actually be unlocked. So I guess this is kind of a bargain. And also, it's fast. But um, as you can see here, it's Italian, and here it is British. So I don't know what the hell's up with that. See, so yeah, why don't you get your shit together? I mean, I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's buy this. And then we'll compare it to my other Pagani Zonda Synchro, which is not a roaster. A ro <laughs> roaster. A uh, roaster. Let's buy it. And oh my god, I'm officially below 5 million. Damn it. So here we are. And let's face it, is it something, spe something special? I don't think so, but, oh well, I mean it is special, but I do already have a really similar similar version, so I'm not too sure. <clears throat> oh, I screwed it up, there we go, let's just place that over there, and bam. So as you can see, uh, they did change some details, for example, you can see that the wheels are more um, visible on the Roadster version. Also, the Roadster version is faster by, uh, I think, uh, 52 horsepower, which is not much. Also, you can buy the uh, Roadster right away and you don't have to wait two weeks for it. Uh, so, that's a plus um, as well, I guess. Uh, but it does make um, the Roadster less... Well, actually, it doesn't really make it. It's kind of uh, on a similar level, the variety. So let's just uh, turn them around, I guess. Compare them side by side. See if there are any details changed. And... No. Absolutely freaking lutely no. Wow. I mean, you can clearly see that they even used the exact same freaking model. They didn't even try. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not a nice car, but... I would just expect something, you know, that they would put more effort into. Not that it's a bad card or anything, but um, I think they could come up with a uh, different version. For example, the Tricolor or uh, that uh, Zonda R racing version. Wait a second, Zonda R is the racing version. And that's already in the game, so... You know, the point is that they could bring up something more... I don't know, new. Because this is just recycled, to be honest. And it well, it, uh, it does look good, but it's it's just not new. This is not a new release. This is recycled. And that's my only problem with this car. It's not really that more expensive than the coupe. And also, it does look better a bit, but it just doesn't justify that this is a different car. I mean, they could just uh, add an option to remove the roof or something. I don't know. Uh, so I would still give this car an 8 out of 10, not a 9.5, because it's it's not a new car. It's nice, but it's not a new car, and that's the problem. That's the problem. So let me know, did you buy one? And <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bye.